the dog go, oh shit, she's pissed, rather than yelling, oh, I'm mad at you. <laughs> oh really? Just one little simple yep, one clunk? Yep, one simple movement. And, I mean, and that makes, you have to work to get that, but I like that. It makes the dog a little bit more, in, you know, mindful of where you are and what you're doing. Now, when you now you keep walking, so you're doing this for distance, and tell her walk up easy. But you keep moving. Don't wait for her to catch up to you. Mm -hmm. Steady, mm -hmm. Ste bang the ground a little bit. Steady. Mm -hmm. sure. We might just venture out into the bigger field next. Well, let's see. It's going to be a little while till we meet again. We'll, we'll work. The yeah, like time. four weeks. Yeah. We'll start in here, and if things are going like this, we're going to go out here in this field, which is a little bit bigger, and, and work on. Uh, you know, they're More it. sheep or, yeah. Well, use the same sheep. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah, because I want to keep everything, you know, until I'm sure that they've got some distance and can control lighter sheep. And then, you know, we might come in here and we might go out, you know, we'll put the lighter sheep in and, and see what happens here shortly. But, but they're getting this. I just want to get some more distance. Block her. Walk right in front of her and send her back. Good. Now tell her down and see if you can get it without having to go to her. <laughs> and that's something we'll work on because eventually the goal is for you to be able to keep walking and tell her down and she lays down so you can put that distance when you get lighter sheep. We're just talking about next time you come it's going to be about four weeks. We're going to start in here and if she's doing anywhere close to this good we're going to go out in the bigger field. The only good thing about the rain is we work them straight through. Oh, yeah, that's true, because she doesn't seem to be getting too yeah, she's hot. Good, and we've only got about 10 more minutes. So. Oh, really? Yeah, it's gone fast. Yeah. Okay, here's one for you. Stop her and call her off and set her up and start again. If she'll walk with you back somewhere, doesn't matter where, you don't have to come to the gate. Just get her to go with you. Uh, you're going to have to get her to come with you. Walk to her and then take her somewhere or the sheep are going to go with you. I want you to set her up and start over again. Yep, take her with you. Good. And what we're showing her is just because we're taking her off the sheep doesn't mean we're going to quit. Now lie her down and start over. Because if you only remove them or, you know, move them away from the sheep when you're quitting. They learn that real fast. Right, so right. Send her around like a gather. You want to walk to her again so she goes all the way around and brings them to you. That's it. Tap the ground and let her go when she